all right hello hello welcome to heal in a center row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your general love reading so let's find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind so i'm going to start off with your person we're going to find out if you guys want to book something personal my information is down below the march 20 promo just started um so keep in mind that has a limited amount of spaces so once that that's closed that's closed so you'll know if you go on there and the coupon doesn't work anymore, okay? Um, in addition, I do have spiritual products, online courses, guided meditations. Everything will always be on the website. Um, I just want to thank those of you guys who have purchased the Heart Chakra Singing Bowl sets. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. Um, as well as I do have the Twin Flame messages. I know that some of you guys email me and you just received these as well. So amazing. Super happy to hear that. Okay, but let's jump in. So what is going on with your person? Let's pull two cards for your person. We've got tribe and we've got return. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this person that you're thinking about, this person that's on your mind, let me show you guys here. It does seem to be like there's some external energy affecting this person. I feel like they're trying to distance themselves from this Okay, if you notice here, it's like there's some distance between these people. So I feel like right now your person may be with someone else or they could be in a situation where maybe there's someone else that's influencing their energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but I feel like they're starting to distance themselves from this person or these people. And the more, the more they get away from this, the more they want to come back to you. So this person has been thinking about returning to you, but I feel like there's this energy of having to leave a situation first, okay? So let's take, yeah, look at this. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. For sure, there's an external energy here. Okay. All right, Spirit. So what's going on with this person at this time? So just in general, let's just see what's, what's going on with this person right now in general. And then we'll take a look at their feelings for you. So what's going on with this person right now in general? Yeah, exactly. They have to make a decision. Two of Swords. They haven't been able to, though, because it's in reverse. So it's like they're at this crossroads. There's uncertainty here. We've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. What's going on with this person? Wow, and the Ace of Swords. We have two Aces here. Okay. So to me, the fact that we've got the Two of Swords, and then we've got the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups in reverse, to me, this feels like someone who has to make a decision and who's doing it more from a logical place so it's almost like they're trying to not think about their feelings <laughs> if that makes sense it's kind of like okay i need to make a decision so i'm gonna make maybe a head over heart decision or maybe this is what they've been trying to do but it's been it's been difficult okay it's like they've been trying to make a decision maybe they've been using their mind instead of their heart and that's why they've been struggling So I feel like what, where, where this person's at and what they're going through right now is that they're almost stuffing their feelings down. So how do they feel about you? Okay. How does this person feel about my viewers? How does this person feel about my viewers? We've got the Four of Swords. You may not be speaking to this person. Yeah, they want to return to you. Like I said, at the very beginning, we've got judgment. So for a lot of you, you haven't been speaking to this person. And they want to start talking to you. They want to say something to you. They want to come back to you. But I feel like they have to leave something first. So that's what they're that's what they're trying to figure out. Okay, and their energy towards you. You've got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is thinking about a commitment with you. So I feel like for most of you, they haven't been speaking, okay? You guys probably haven't been talking to each other or it's been quite quiet, but they want to, they want to return and they want to commit actually. But I think that the problem is, is that they got to let go of this, this third energy. What is this? Clarify tribe. Clarify tribe here. The Knight of Wands. So maybe this person has been kind of playing the field. Okay. That could be what the, what it is. I just looked up and it was 444. So it could be confirmation. <laughs> Um, but we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Let's get one more card. This is someone who, I think, was that literally the Three of Pentacles? Hold on, it just fell on the ground. 
Yep, exactly, exactly, exactly. So if you guys remember when I was saying at the very beginning, we have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and I was saying, yep, exactly with the tribe, and here it goes. So Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, like I said. So I feel like there's a heavy third-party energy now. I don't, for some of you, this this third-party energy, maybe that this is someone who may not have someone specific, but they they have been playing the field in a sense. So it's like they're keeping their options open, they're dating casually, or they're talking to multiple people. For others of you, it could be that they haven't um, really taken any action towards you because of a third party. Like maybe they're already in a relationship or they're already in something. Um, and I guess for others of you too, it could even be like work is a factor. So I don't know if it has to be a romantic partner specifically, but I do feel like there's an external energy here. Okay, hold on one sec. I just want to close the door because I'm hearing like noises. Yeah, some of you, um, I'm getting, it's like, I'm just seeing the three of wands at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like this person has kind of been waiting things out, but ultimately it does seem like they're thinking about a commitment with you. So it's like when they come towards you for a reconciliation, when they come to return, they want a commitment here. How does this person see you right now? How does this person see you? Very confident in yourself. Six of Wands. Okay, so this person feels like you're very confident. Um, you may be getting a lot of attention with the Six of Wands as well. Okay, so I don't know if you're someone who has some sort of fame or you could just be getting a lot of attention right now. This person is just seeing you as very confident. Look at this exactly, the Empress. So it's like they're seeing you as very confident. They're seeing you as like definitely in your power right now with the Six of Wands and the Empress here. Okay, and I think that's what, what's drawing this person towards you. They want a commitment. It's telling me that they want a commitment. I, I, you know, you guys know I'm always honest with you about what comes through in the reading. Okay, and I'm strongly feeling that here. So what are their messages for you? What are your person's current messages for you? So this person has been getting a lot of signs. Okay. I see signs of you everywhere I go. So some of you may be getting signs of this person as well, but it seems like they're quite intuitive. Yeah, look at this. I want to come back home to you. You're where I belong. Like I said, this person wants to return to you. And it says here, I'm going through a lot, okay? And that could be what we're seeing with this Two of Swords energy. Um, they're really, I feel like they're really struggling to make some sort of a, a choice here. Maybe this person is just not used to choosing their heart. Like they're not used to choosing their emotions. They do things very logically and possibly returning to you would be like having to make a heart decision over rather than a head decision. Clarify this. I'm going through a lot. Yeah, they're, they're actually depressed right now is what spirit's telling me. We've got the moon in reverse. Could be a Pisces, but this person is actually going through depression over this situation with you. So they're really seeing you with this, like they're really seeing that you're having this kind of glow up. So I don't know what you guys are doing, but they're seeing you really, really shine. And I feel like it's kind of putting this emphasis on the fact that they need to make their way back to you. And so where they're currently at, the situation they're in, it's like they're very depressed over this. Okay, I do see this person coming towards you, but stay tuned because we are going to look at the, the most likely action at the very end. But let's look at your energy first. Okay. Alright, Spirit, so what's going on with my viewers at this time? What's going on with my viewers at this time? Where are they at? We've got separation. Like I said, I don't think you're talking to this person. 
We've got soulmate here. Okay, so this could be a soulmate that's on your mind or someone that you have a very strong soul connection with. Um, soulmate, twin flame, we have union at the bottom of the deck. So keep in mind, you know, I'm not super crazy on labels, but I do feel like there's a soul connection here with this person, but you have been in separation with them. So it's like from your perspective, you know that you have something here, but you feel that the two of you are apart. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords here, the Judgment card. Take a look here so where are you currently at right now let's get three cards for just where you're at right now in life we've got the hermit so you guys could be a virgo could be dealing with a virgo we've got the ace of pentacles and oh my gosh wow oh wow okay so we've got the hermit the ace of pentacles and look what i was just saying the moon reverse pisces energy I think both of you guys are actually have been depressed over the separation. It's hitting you hard, but it's also hitting your person hard. So if you guys have been really struggling or kind of dealing with some mood swings or feeling quite moody and um, I have to say depressed because this is my card of depression. You could be going through a depression over the separation. Now, I feel like some of you guys have been trying to distract yourself with a lot of work. Maybe you're taking on new projects or just really focusing on your money right now. I think a lot of you are just retreating. Like, I get this energy of wanting to be alone, spending time alone. It's kind of like, leave me alone. <laughs> like, you know, this energy of like, I'm depressed or I'm just not in the best place right now. So just kind of leave me alone. I want to focus on my projects. I want to focus on my work. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So what is your energy towards this person? What is your current energy towards this person on your mind? Okay. Yeah, okay, so the Eight of Cups, walking away from an unfulfilling situation here. So maybe you did walk away from this person, um, and that could be why you are in separation here. We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. What's your energy towards this person? And then we have got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, really interesting. We have eight, eight. We have eight, eight here. So to me, I always think of the eights as like going through cycles. So maybe you've gone through many cycles with this person. It's really interesting because with the eight of cups, this is a woman here who's walking away, right? Walking away because she needs to find her happiness. Now with the ace of swords in reverse, someone is lying in the situation. So I don't know if you haven't been fully honest with this person, or you feel like they haven't been fully honest with you. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for your energy towards them? I think, honestly, a lot of you guys are just distracting yourselves with work. That's what it keeps telling me. Um, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Wow, is anything going to come out here? There we go. Yeah, see, the King of Pentacles in reverse, exactly. I think it's like... Be careful though because sometimes when we try to distract ourselves with one, with one thing we become very like out of balance because it's like we're trying to distract ourselves so often if, if we're trying to use something as a distraction it's not necessarily coming from the healthiest place so some of you guys may end up working yourselves too much you might be stressed out you might end up getting stressed out why is the ace of swords in reverse the tower okay um I think this person really triggers you guys like I think this person because it is a soul connection it's like they really trigger you and maybe it's when they're not honest or maybe it's like when they don't tell you the truth or they're not upfront with you that's what triggers you the most or it may trigger you when they don't communicate with you or they don't say something to you I'm getting specifically there's like there's a big trigger here with you and this person why is separation here The Seven of Cups in reverse. I think despite the fact that you're separated from this person, I feel like you're pretty... Seems like you... I feel like you still want this person or you're... Let's see, why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Getting clarity on something? Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay, actually, let me say this. So, it's almost like... Let me put it this way. For those of you who walked away from this person, it just became very clear to you that you were just done. Like... Queen of Swords reverse, Eight of Cups. This is someone who's like, 
I don't have any more confusion, I'm done with this. I'm done. I'm letting it go. I'm walking away. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting here. It's kind of like you got this clarity. So maybe for a while you were confused and then you realized, no, I'm walking away. Um, so I feel like that's kind of what's, what's going on here. Now, how do you see this person? How do you see this person? The ace of, yeah, you see them as someone who doesn't open up emotionally. Sorry, I just fell on the ground. Okay, so it's saying here you see them as the ace of cups in reverse. So it's like you see them as someone who doesn't express their feelings. They don't open up. And I think that's the challenge that they're going through right now is in order to come towards you, it's like that would be making a heart decision, which they're not used to doing. They're used to just making logical decisions. Well, this makes the most sense. Like, let me shut down my heart and just make logical decisions about love. So with you, it's like they would, they would be following their heart to come towards you. And I think that's the struggle. And I think you know this about this person. You know that they're not emotional. You know that they don't tell you how they feel. They, you know that they don't open up. Okay. So let's take a look and see what the most likely outcome is here. So I'm going to pull one from here and then we'll pull from the tarot. So what's the most likely outcome here, Spirit, in the next few weeks? What's the most likely outcome between these two? What's the most likely outcome here? We have the answer is yes. So that seems pretty positive. And we have unit at the bottom of the deck still. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely getting that. If you guys have been wondering if this person is going to make a decision about you, the answer is yes. I feel like this person is choosing you, okay? Um, so let's see, clarify this yes. Yeah, your person... Um, they know they have to make a decision. I feel like they're just feeling the pressure right now. Like, oh my gosh, I have to do something. Okay, look at this. Oh my gosh. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they haven't been honest with you. This is someone who hasn't actually told you. See how they felt. I was just about to say they haven't told you how they felt and they're going to tell you how they feel. So we've got the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. This person is on the brink of finally telling you how they feel and I feel like they haven't told you that and I think this is what triggered you in the past or this is what made you walk away because they just never tell you, told you how they felt because they're not used to being in that energy of their heart they didn't want to be in it so this is what they're this is like the decision that they're making right now to come towards you and I feel like they're, they're going to tell you how they feel they're going to tell you how, you how they feel I'm getting that very clear I'm getting a very clear message Okay, um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. So if you want this person, I guess that's good news for you guys. But that's the information that's coming through. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you want to book something personal, as always, my information is down below. I do have the March 20 promo on. Keep in mind, there are limited spots. So once it closes, I'm going to take the promo down. That's what I'm going to be doing for all the monthly promos, okay? Um, but anyways, guys, I'm sending you absolute love and light. And I wish you all the best on your journey. Take care.